Hey everybody, how we doing today? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how egg sinkers are born. Now egg sinkers are an important component to my bottom fishing strategy, so it's always a good idea to have a good supply of them ready to go. For today's project, I'm gonna be doing some one ounce and one and a half ounce. I'll be using the Do It Mold. It's a model EG6L2 and it's specifically for the one and one and a half ounce sizes. Uh, this mold comes with three separate compartments. So I could basically do three one ounce or three one and a half ounce at a time. How the setup works is that on the top row, I've got three one ounce sections there. Then if I wanna do the one and a half ounce, I basically flip the mold over and then I've got the three one and a half ounce ports. Now the most important component is the actual pull pin and that allows us to create the little hole through the center of the uh, egg sinker. Uh, the way that works is prior to pouring, we insert this little brass rod and it sits in the mold like that and the lead is poured and then when the lead is set then you pull out the pin and then you've got the hole in the center of the egg sinker. When you first receive your do-it mold, you'll find the pull pin is inserted on the handle side. But when you actually start pouring, you want to make sure that you insert the rod through the front. The reason for that is that this way it'll give you room to actually grab the handle to pull it out. Uh, the first few runs that you do with a cold mold, uh, the pin will be hard to pull through. So you're going to have to twist and pull and this will allow you to grab the handle. When you're done with your mold, you can actually insert the handle back through the back side and then it stores out of the way. Okay, we're ready to start pouring. Uh, if you'd like more information about my lead pouring system or the basics of how to pour, you can check out my lead pouring playlist on my YouTube channel main page. Okay, let's get pouring. Uh, first, we wanna insert our pin. We're gonna be doing the one ounce side first. When you insert the pin, you want to make sure you just go through to the edge there. You can see it's just starting to poke out there. The reason for that is that you want some space here to be able to grab the handle. This section will be very hot, so you want to stay clear of that. Okay, our lead is ready. Our mold is ready, so let's start pouring some lead. Okay, we're just gonna give it a moment to solidify. And that should be good. So now we're just gonna pull the pin out. We're gonna do that by grasping the pin, twisting and pulling at the same time. And that pulls right out. Uh, initially, it'll be a little bit tough, but as you do a few, this will warm up and they'll pull through easier. Once that's out, flip our mold over. Good shape there. Sticking. And there we've got our one ounce lead sinker. Uh, you'll see that it's got the sprue here, which is the excess from our pour that we'll be cutting off in our next stage. Okay, we've given it some time for our lead to cool, so now it's safe to handle. Uh, what we've got left is basically the egg sinker, and then we have this excess lead material from when we basically poured the lead into it. Since we can't see down into the mold, we basically just fill it up to know that it's complete. But now we have to get rid of this part, which is called the sprue. Um, there's multiple ways to do that, so I'm just going to show you a couple of the easier ways. The quickest way to do it is basically just take some cutters, find the lowest spot there, and just basically cut it off. Uh, what that does though is it leaves a bit of a kind of a rough edge there. Uh, from that point, you can basically, because lead is soft, take a hammer or something just with a flat surface and just mash it down. And that gets it back to smooth again but really fish don't care, so that's just your choice to do it. Uh, if you want also a cleaner surface right at the beginning, what you can do, 
take a cutter, lead uh, razor blade, and then just kind of score right around the edges of it, and then break off, and that uh, cut will kind of make it to break off easier. Uh, same thing, you can use a, a saw or a serrated knife and just saw through it until it's flush. This is another way to do it. Also, what I do is basically just to twist it off, leaves me a, a non-sharp edge to it. Basically, just gonna use two pliers. And then we're just going to twist that sprue off. And then it kind of leaves a smooth surface there. It's got a little bit of a rise to it. Again, you can use the good old thump it there if you want to knock it down to make it perfectly smooth and round. And then you're good to go there. So that's how you basically finalize it. Key thing is just, if I was selling them, I would probably take a little bit of time to clean these up. Even you can use some sandpaper to knock it down so it's totally smooth. But uh, since it's my personal use stuff, I'm just going to basically just chop them, give it a couple of whacks just so there's no sharp points on it, and I'm good to go. Okay, the cost for doing them yourself. Uh, the one ounce sinkers, I basically pay $1.75 a pound for my lead, but I buy it in bulk. I think the last batch was 66 pounds. Uh, but uh, if you divide uh, one pound by 16 individual ounce sinkers there, they come out to 11 cents each. Uh, the one and a half ounce come out to 17 cents each. So you can kind of compare that to your local tackle shop. I know around here, um, these go for 50 cents each and these go for roughly around 60 cents each. So quite a bit of savings there. Alrighty, so that's how egg sinkers are born. Uh, hopefully you found the uh, video helpful there. Uh, if you want more information about doing it yourself, uh, check out my main YouTube page and then under the playlist, look for the lead pouring catalog and that'll give you some background information on the equipment that I use as well as the pricing information. Um, would I recommend for other people to do this? Uh, definitely, especially if you take a look at the costing for doing your own, uh, not only egg sinkers, but jig heads and so forth, lures. Um, if you can definitely uh, create some savings in the end run, definitely it's worthwhile to do it. On top of that, it's something, a fun little project to do on these windy days when you can't go fishing. So uh, anyways, check those out. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.